Did you know that plants are solar powered air purifiers and humidifiers? They also don't require filters or cleaning. They also look way better than plastic boxes with fans in them. This video is about growing fresh air. Imagine you're living in an old home that's cold in the winter, hot in the summer, and prone to being dry. Your hands regularly get so dry that your skin cracks and hurts, and some rooms in your house get a bit funky for portions of the year. It doesn't bother you too much as it seems normal. And one day, you have this idea that maybe you could fix the dryness with a humidifier and the funkiness with a ventilation unit. You start looking into both and you add one to your shopping cart online. Then you have across a video that explains how indoor plants can both clean and humidify homes. You immediately search out more videos on the topic and find NASA actually did research on using plants to create fresh air in space. Like a mini ecosystem on a spaceship, plants would actually create fresh air for astronauts to breathe. You think, if it's good enough for a spaceship, why not my home? So you take the humidifier out of your shopping cart online and you watch more videos on all the amazing things plants can do. Then you start telling everyone you know about it. That is my story. I'm David Mead, a building performance specialist in Seattle. And this video will show you how I started growing fresh air in my home. And I hope you'll consider doing the same. My wife started thinking I was crazy after the third or fourth trip uh, to uh, nurseries to buy more and more plants and pots. You see, I believe we need about 10 plants per person in homes to help clean the air. That equaled 30 plants when I started this. 30 plants and 30 pots. You can probably see why she thought I was a bit crazy. Where did I get the idea for 10 plants per person? This book, How to Grow Fresh Air. You should read it too. It will change your life for the better. Indoor plants can heal you. The book explains how NASA did research on how plants clean air and create oxygen. This is part of a project to explore creating more human-friendly environments in space. The book shows a long list of indoor plants that NASA tested, shows how well they remove chemicals, how easy they are to maintain, and how much water they add to the air. I read it cover to cover and immediately made plans to buy plants to fix problems in our home. When I got to the first nursery, they actually had a section on plants that were part of the NASA research. I had no idea it was this mainstream. Unfortunately, most of the large plants that were in the book were quite expensive, like $50 to $200. We didn't have the kind of budget for houseplants, so we started looking around and I found some small ones that were more like $5 to $10 each. I then bought enough plants to fill many rooms in the house on multiple visits to different nurseries around Seattle. I bought some soil and pots and uh, planned a potting party. My family had a main potting party on a sunny day. It was great to get all of our hands dirty in this. Working with soil and plants is always intriguingly relaxing. Then we started putting plants around the house and figuring out how to have them work with our furniture. By the time we were done, we had about 30 plants distributed throughout the house. Lots of cute little baby plants and large pots. Two years later, I have some great news. Almost all the plants are still alive and they're larger than most of the $100 plus plants we saw in the nursery. Some of them are taller than our windows even. The best part isn't the fact that we don't have dry air or cracked skin anymore. It isn't even that the air is so much cleaner than before and the funkiness is gone. It's how beautiful and peaceful they are. They're the first thing I notice in most rooms. I find myself looking at them more than about anything other than my family as they naturally draw the eye and relax the mind. They have brought immense joy to all of my family, which was not something the book talked about. My home experiment led to collaboration on a grant project at PAE Engineers, where we tested the impacts of plants on indoor air quality in a conference room in our office at the Bullet Center. That is a story for another day, however, but it had similar outcomes. If you like this video, let me know. I can make more videos on the details of the plants, how to maintain them, and the research we did at PAE. If you've never experienced the joy of accomplishing more than you can imagine, plant a garden.